Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going through some of the most essential tools in Adobe Dimension for speeding up your workflow. Okay, so I'm recording this after the screen capture. So uh, I think there are nine, I think there are nine tools that we're gonna be covering, but there might be 10, there might be eight. Don't judge me if I get it wrong. Either way, these are essential tools that are gonna help you navigate around your document and your scene so much quicker. Learn these, learn their keyboard shortcuts. It's gonna speed up your workflow dramatically. Without further ado, we're gonna jump into it now and get started. Rightio, so we're now in Dimension. I've created my new document. And first of all, I'm just gonna add a cube. So we'll click on this to add that to the scene. Now this is going to be split into the tools that move objects around and then the tools that control the camera because in Dimension, they're very much two separate things with their own separate options. So if I go up here, you can see we have the selection tool. So I'm gonna click and hold and I get a lot more options. You can tink with all these little toggle switches down here and I've got the main selection tool, V on the keyboard. Of course, this is very useful because it enables us to select objects and move them around. We have the move tool, which is E on the keyboard, the rotate tool, which is R, and the scale tool, which is S. So if we jump back onto our canvas, you can see with the main selection tool, we actually get quite a few options. So I can actually move this along particular axes. I can actually rotate it along a particular axis or scale it along a particular axis. And I can do all of this with this very multifunctional selection tool. However, if I were to press E on the keyboard, that's the move tool shortcut, I can still do the same thing, move it along the X, Y, and Z axis. However, I get these other options where I can move this along two axes together. So in this instance, the X and the Y. So this is pretty useful and one reason why you may jump in to the move tool rather than the multifunctional selection tool. And when you get familiar with this, you can jump between the scale tool. You can then press R to rotate, E to move. So you can see it becomes much, much faster. Or you can just press V and then just use these controls here. I think it's just a personal preference, whichever way you prefer to work. Okay, let's go and add another cube because I really did mess that one up. So those tools move objects around within the physical space in dimension. So if I do go and uh, resize this, for example, and I suddenly decide, oh, that's way too big. I want to undo that. It's your standard and go up to edit and then you can undo or redo. So that is controlled up there. However, if we jump over to the camera tools now, these behave slightly differently. So we have over here, the orbit tool. This is number one on the keyboard, the pan tool, which is number two, and the dolly tool, which is number three. And again, you can left click and hold on these and you get many more options. So we've got a few others here. We've got the tripod tool, which is number four. And we'll skip this next one because I don't really use it. And then we have the roll camera tool number five. So the camera tools, the main ones that I use at least is one, two, three, four, five on the keyboard, which does make it much easier to remember. So with the camera tools, I could select the orbit tool with number one and I can orbit the camera around my object. I could pan the camera with the pan tool, which is number two, so we can go up or down. Number three is the dolly tool. So think of this as moving the camera closer or further away from your object. Number four is the tripod tool. So imagine your camera is on a tripod and you're just literally moving it around, but still keeping the camera in a fixed position. And then number five is the camera roll tool. So we can roll, whoa, steady on Dan. We can roll this left and right. So this is really good if you want to uh, straighten out your horizon or just have something at a slight angle. Now, I think it's a really good idea in Dimension to set up your scene and then create a camera bookmark. So we can do this up here. I'm just gonna save this as a camera bookmark. I'm happy with this angle. Now, if I do go and orbit this around here, and I think, oh no, oh goodness, I don't want to do that. I want to undo that. Rather than going up to edit and undo, because that undoes changes to the objects in their physical space, with the camera, we go up to camera. And then we get our own separate camera undo and camera redo with some shortcuts here as well. So you can see I can go camera undo and then it jumps back. Or if I mess this up completely like this, we have that uh, camera bookmark there that we can just jump back to as well. So camera bookmarks are very, very useful. So those are the main tools. We have the movement tools, the V, E, S and R on the keyboard that enable us to scale and adjust the physical properties of objects in our scene, but then we have the camera tools as well, 
that enable us to move around our objects and adjust the different camera settings. And the best advice I can really give is to practice with these tools because once you learn to quickly move objects around in your scene and then just spin the camera around exactly how you want it at will, it's just going to make your workflow and dimension so much faster, especially when you're using those keyboard shortcuts for the different movement and camera tools. And there we go, so that wraps up the tutorial. Those are definitely some of the most essential tools in Dimension. Learn them, learn them well, and their keyboard shortcuts. They are going to save you a ton of time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.